what's up what's up guys welcome back to the channel it's your boy modin and i'm back with another video today's video is going to be an interesting one but before i proceed i have one question to ask can anybody any one of you at all show me proof where shatawale either written audio or video saying anywhere or accusing stoneboy of killing his mother can any one of you show me proof? Why am I talking about this? Because for the last days, all the videos that I've been doing and all that, and across board, things that I'm reading is some sort of misinformation that is going out over there, where people think Shatawali has attacked Stoneboy to the extent that he has even accused him of killing his mother. Now, we all know Shatawali. Shatawale can do no such thing and in fact has done nothing like that. But the only place where that accusation is coming from is from Stoneboy's mouth. Now, before I proceed, let's watch this video. You go and say, I kill my mother and you go behind me and say, yo, killer, rare, 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 to, to bomb, killer, tata, but me kill the mother. No, 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 he is down. I'm waiting for one person to come and stand in front of me, including himself, to tell me that I killed my mother. Eh? And it will be beautiful in this Ghana. You understand? Hold on, hold on. So tell him to fuck off. I'm no, not, no, I'm no, not, see, out. I'm not playing with your plane and a bomb, but clatter, you know. Me, me know that, when I talk about my mother, but, 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 if he was in the same Jamaica, he'd yeah. be dead by now. True or false? To. If he was in Jamaica, nigga thinks he's a G, nigga thinks he's a Jamaican. Nigga thinks, yo, I can go about and a child with them one day and go around it and go around this and go around this. In Kaya Bell Bruno or London, man, in country, man. Bolare in the part of man, no. In Kaya Bell Bruno or London, they tell you. Don't these people and go back and beg them, you are no bad man. Shut up, you are no bad man, may I tell you this. I'm a vexed rat because he this my mother and come and tell about we are. So I believe you all watched this video and you can all recall when he went to hit hits FM to do this exact thing. Now, let's come back to the context. We have fan bases and the things they do. All this social media trolling and all that is where some of these fans were saying that Stoneboy had killed the mother. You know, people talk in Ghana, but the fact that fan bases are saying it doesn't mean Shatawale said it. A few days ago, when this whole um, African Games thing came up, when I posted one of the videos I did, I showed a video in there where a fan was basically saying things against Shatawale and Stoneboy posted it on his own feed by his own feed i mean uh, on snapchat i have the video right here on my channel and you can see it for yourself you know these are some of the things that stoneboy does and it goes unnoticed no one actually pays attention to those things because it's on snapchat it's on instagram stories and they go off by the day and so he deletes it or he, it just goes off and no one sees it. And anytime Shatawale reacts to those things, then it's as if why is Shatawale attacking Stoneboy unprovoked? Now, the only person who has gone out there to say on any video or audio type of conversation that Stoneboy killed his mother is Stoneboy himself. In the video that I showed you, where he says Shatawale is going around telling people. Where has Shatawale gone around to tell people? Now, we all know that Shatawale is one person that if something bothers him, if he has something on his mind, he's going to say it publicly. And so knowing Shatawale and the beef that is between he and Stoneboy back and forth, if Shatawale did actually say something like this, do you think the Ghanaian media would have been quiet on this? No, they would have crucified Shatawale. Because even for the things that he doesn't do, they still crucify him anyways. How much more he going out ahead to say something like this? And so this is my challenge too. I've replied two people in my comments. And one I have pinned in one of those other videos that I did. Right? 
<clears throat> when you check the video pretense versus real victim, you will see in the paint section a, a, a comment that I paint over there in the comment section. And it is one of such comments that people actually write because when they listen to the things that I say and they don't have anything else to say, they try to go around in circles with their whole conversation. This is one thing I want you guys to know and please hear me out. If you come into my videos to watch them and you think I said something that doesn't sound well or doesn't sit with you, we are all learning. I would like you to write in the comment section and state your facts opposing what I said. I will do my findings and if I'm wrong, I will learn. And I'll be the first to come out there and say that, hey, this information that I gave, I'm wrong for giving such wrong information. Instead of you coming to the comment section and saying that I'm saying A, B, C and uh, D because I like Shatawale or because I'm a Shatawale fan, it doesn't add up. It doesn't do anything to any one of us. If I am a Shatawale fan or if I love Shatawale, granted, you love Stone Boy, granted. So if I say something that you think is against the person that you love and you think what I'm saying is not true and there are no facts to it, why don't you come to the same comment section and write the truth so that the whole world will see because I won't hide it. But you guys don't do that. You guys would rather come and write something vague and go away. Now, I'm throwing a challenge to you guys out there. Any one of you who can show me proof, who can show the world proof that Shatawali has said anywhere or has accused Stoneboy of killing the mother, I personally will send you 1,000 US dollars. I will transfer it to you and I'll make it public or I will transfer it to any charity organization you want. See, this blogging thing doesn't pay me. I don't do it for money. If it was about the money, I would have been doing all those negative stories all these other bloggers are doing. I'm not interested in that thing. I'm not. Not one single bit. You can't buy me and my conscience. In fact, I love Shatawali for one thing. That guy is simply misunderstood. That guy is very intelligent. But you see, it's just like gold. When you see those who, pay, who, who, who look out for gold, who mine gold, I mean those small scale ones, you see them collect a lot of sand and they always wash it with water until the hard, heavy metals settle. See, this is it. When you see something that is of value, something that has actual value, but there, are, there, there is sand all over it, and you actually know what the worth of that thing is, you will have time to separate the sand from it so that you get the true value you need. That is how I see Shatawali. Shatawali has his own way of talking, but anytime Shatawali talks, listen to him carefully. He speaks so much sense. Granted, he makes noise. He may insult a few people here and there, but pay attention to that worth that I'm talking about, the gold within the sand or within the soil that I'm talking about. And you will understand, if only a lot of you out there can actually listen to Shatawali without that type of closed-mindedness, then you will learn something from him. He is not your enemy. He, in fact, he is your friend. And there are a lot of things we can do. I watched one video where he was ranting back and forth and he made a peculiar statement there about the whole Hotel Rwanda thing and what happened actually in Rwanda, the genocide thing. Guys, let's learn all this back and forth with the media and all that kind of stuff and spreading misinformation and false narrative out there is not helping any one of us. And so for me personally, she can't buy me, not even Shatawali. I love Shatawali, but that doesn't mean if he does something wrong, I can't come and sit here and talk about it. But one thing I will not do is the fact that 
He hasn't done the thing in the wrong way that you guys are saying. And simply because everybody is speaking and matching the way of Stone Boy or whoever it is, no, then I also join that bandwagon. I won't do it. Almost every one of you out there speaks against Shatawali. So ask yourself, if he was your brother, if he was your sister, it, it, sorry, if he was your sister's husband or he was your son, would you do the same thing to him? Would you be happy? Now ask yourself, all these insults people herald at, at him all these years, how does he, how does he function? Actually, in the video that I was watching, Shatter also said something very pivotal. He actually gave the reason why he will come out to insult anybody who does anything. He said it's because of pain. It's because of pain. He said, do you think that with all the riches, with all the wealth, with all the money and everything that I have, the success that I've chalked, I will still sit down and just jump and come and insult someone because I'm stupid? No, 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 no. He said he doesn't insult anybody because he's stupid. He doesn't come out to say something against someone because he's stupid. He says it because of the pain. He says them because of the pain. And where is the pain coming from? Anytime any one of you hear anything about Shatawali, you are quick to judge him. You are quick to say, yes, he did it. You never give him the benefit of the doubt. And that is where the problem is. He is the bad person always. No one takes time to actually look into matters. No one does that. If it has to do with Shatawali, then he is the bad person. Stoneboy took a gun and showed it. You heard the video I played from the beginning. That is someone who is insinuating violence. With everything Shatawali has been doing, have you seen Shatawali pull a gun on anybody before? With all his so-called rowdiness and the way he speaks and all that kind of stuff. Yet Stoneboy, in the midst of ambassadors, in the midst of members of parliament, in the midst of great men and CEOs and actors and actresses and other musicians and public and the public and the Ghanaians, the patrons who went there to that award show, Stoneboy pulled a gun and yet Ghana police, with all the evidence and the videos around, nobody called him to question. Yet, medical recently just showed gun and they said it is brandishing. And because of that, he was in prison simply because he supported Shatawali. The same Shatawali is pained because a lot of prophets will get out there and give false prophecies. And it's only targeted at politicians, musicians, and actors and actresses and celebrities and all those things. Saying, always do, giving doom prophecies. And we've seen what happened with Ebony. And they go on and on and on and on with that thing. And when one such prophet came out to prophesy that Shatawali was going to be killed or Shatawali was going to die, none of you out there said anything about it. None of you out there questioned whether the guy was in panic or not. The business deals he might have lost simply because someone put that type of information out there. No one cares about that. That is where the pain is coming from. And that I understand because I'm human. And so if you're out there and you don't like Shatawale, listen, no one is forcing you. You don't like his music. You don't like his personality. No one is forcing you. You can make a change and you can make a decision for yourself. You are an individual who can think and decide things through for yourself. No one will force you for anything. But this is one thing I ask you. Anytime you hear any false narrative out there about Shatawali, all I want you to do is to take time and look at both sides of the coin and ask the right questions and get the right answers before you cast your judgment or because before you throw stones at him. That is all I ask. That is all I ask because he is someone else's son. He is someone else's brother. He is someone else's father. He is someone else's uncle. He is someone else's friend. He is someone else's role model. 
He is someone else's celebrity. He is someone else's God because he puts food on the table for so many people. I wouldn't force you to like him. I wouldn't force you to love him. But all I ask, give him the benefit of the doubt. That's all I ask. This is all I have for today. Um, as you always know, on this channel, it's always about positivity. Go right there in the comment section. Let me know about what you think about this video. Yeah. My name is Ufever Min Modin. Here on this channel, it's always about positivity. If anybody comes to you with a negative vibe, turn around with a smile and say, peace out.